Hey there everybody, Shane Brick Customs back with another custom minifigure update today in a different format. You guys may notice straight off the bat that there is a video superimposed on the main white screen of me doing some customizing work. Now this will be the format for all subsequent updates and the main reason that I'm doing this just is so you guys can actually look at something rather than a blank white screen while I'm doing these updates, while I'm uh, talking about what I've got on the pipeline uh, during the interim of actually showing you things. So I hope you guys like the idea of it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Um, but uh, for example, what I'm showing you in the uh, video of me customizing right now is using a scalpel to take off the excess plastic from my second cast of the uh, Darth Crate torso piece, the armored torso piece. So what I'm doing there is I'm essentially just taking off the imperfections from the first casting process so that um, subsequent casting processes are a lot smoother, so the products will be a lot smoother. And then by the time I get to the final cast, the final mold, uh, it will be perfectly smooth. Um, but yeah, you also see me do stuff like painting um, and sculpting work in uh, subsequent updates. So keep an eye out for those as well. Uh, I'm also thinking about maybe doing the same sort of thing during my reviews, but more of a sort of a mashed up medley of like painting, sculpting, uh, other customizing work for the custom that I'm actually showing you during the review. So if you guys like that, please chuck that in the comments because I'll probably judge it off what people want. Um, but with that all covered, uh, let's look at what I've actually got to show you today. And that is the progress that I've made on the Darth Crate figure. Now, I did produce the Darth Crate headpiece a wee while ago, but I put off doing the body for a very long time. But now that I'm doing a custom Darth Barris uh, torso piece, I decided that it would probably be a good time to do the Darth Crate one as well. Now I have been doing some Darth Barris work, but that has been sort of put on the back burner just while I get this Darth Crate finished, uh, mainly because I do like to finish things that I started before. Um, so I suppose you'll see the review of the Darth Crate before you'll see the review of the Darth Barris, but they won't be too far apart. But um, anyway, this is what I've got so far. So I will just... quickly and unfortunately a little bit has broken off the helmet on the left hand side um, so I will have to recast that helmet but it's not a major a major deal considering it is actually a very easy piece to cast again so we'll take off the helmet so you can have a better look at the armor torso and we'll also take off the lightsabers out of his hands uh, also notice that those are the lightsabers from Asajj Ventress I will be making some custom lightsabers when I finally do the review of Darth Crate uh, I've looked at a couple of designs and his lightsabers are very odd in the design but I think that I'll be able to produce some uh, that will definitely do it justice. So that's the basic torso piece there. The back is completely not done so it's going to take a couple more casts to finish. But I really hope you guys like what I've done with it so far. Um, it's a bit hard to do this sort of design because if you actually look at some pictures of uh, Darth Crate um, his armor is very jagged, it's not uniform, it's very rough. So I have to kind of do that with the custom that I'm producing. But at the same time, I have to keep the idea that it has to look sleek enough to look like an actual bigger release piece. So getting sort of the, the midway in between it looking rough, but also looking sleek, I, it's very hard to get that mid ground with the two things. So uh, that's one of the challenges so far. But anyway, that's the torso piece, guys. I'll just take it off the actual figure. First of all, I'll actually take the hands off and I'll show you the gauntlets that I've been doing. Um, so this is the first time I've ever tried to do gauntlets. So as you can see, those are attached to the hand like that and you just slide them into the arm. And uh, they've turned out really nice and I probably will do them in the future with different customs. I'm really trying to expand my repertoire of my customizing skills. Uh, so that's one of the gauntlets there. Um, and I suppose I can do a lot of different applications now that I can do these sort of pieces. So there's one on the... Uh, piece there. Um, so yeah, I probably will go back and do a few uh, pieces like that when I do my Mark Aragnos head piece when I finally get around to doing the review of that. Uh, I really think they add a little bit of depth to my minifigures and definitely uh, increase the, uh, I suppose the visual aspect of looking at these minifigures and definitely gives them a little bit more pop, a little bit more, um, just, just a little bit more um, flavour I suppose would be the word. Uh, but here's the torso piece, so as you can see it fits over uh, a normal torso piece, like a sandwich board. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, looking at these uh, these various pieces that I'm doing. Um, I 
I, I do enjoy showing you guys uh, what I've got in the works. I do enjoy, enjoy showing you guys the various stages that I go through um, rather than just showing you a completely finished piece. So, um, yeah. I, I, I'm undecided whether or not I will actually do maybe a, a Karma sort of thing. Darth Crack does have some leg armor. Uh, I am undecided whether or not I'll do that. I think it may look a bit too clunky if I end up putting too much on it. But, uh, I don't know. I'll probably do a prototype and I'll see how that looks. If I like the way it looks, I'll probably run with it. But I hope you guys enjoy what I've got for you currently so far for this up and coming Darth Crate figure. Uh, it's been definitely a bit of a challenge to make, but definitely quite enjoyable. Um, if you guys want to go purchase any of my minifigures, I will really try to get something up on my eBay page. Uh, there's a link to down below in the description for my eBay page. Um, there hasn't been anything up there for a while. Uh, just due to the Christmas rush and whatnot. I know it's no excuse considering it's been about a month since Christmas. Um, but I'm just, you know, getting some orders in now for some materials so I can fully start production again. Um, if you guys also want to go check out my blog, which is a link down below in the description. It's got a few good tips if you want to try customize yourself, or if you want me to make a specific custom for you, personal message me at my blog, link to down below in the description. And if you want to go see the reviews of these completely finished minifigures and previous minifigures that I've produced, uh, check out my main channel, which is also a link to down below in the description. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Helps me out a whole lot. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.